approve the agenda. I'll so move to approve it, Second. Motion made by Mal, second by Betty to approve the agenda. Is there any questions or correction? Three none. All in favor of that motion say aye. Aye. Opposed, motion carried. <coughs> approval of the minutes of November 28, 2016. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of November 28, 2016. I'll second that. Motion made by Wally, second by Vicki to approve the November 28, 2016 minutes. <coughs> any questions? Hearing none, all in favor of that motion say aye. Aye. Opposed, motion carried. Citizen input, nothing at this time. Uh, item number six, first, protect the per per person and property. Uh, and ambulance report, you're up, bud. Okay. Uh, 4th of November, we had 25 calls, 20 transports, five no transports. Um, last half of the year, we've been just kind of cutting down on calls for some reason. Uh, December's been a pretty good month, I think. I looked this morning, we're at like 14 calls for the month, so slowly picking up a little bit, but um, it's kind of the average all over the place as a whole. Um, this time last year, we had almost 30,000 calls. We're only at 21,000 um, as a whole, so it's, I guess a good thing and a bad thing all at the same time. Um, majority of our responses are still in the city. We had 12 within the city, um, five in the township, five outside the area, and three in Woodville. So. Woodville's, uh, we expected about 15 calls a year. We're almost double that, so that's been a, a good good thing for us. Um, and we're still picking up them calls uh, outside our coverage area, so <coughs> helping out quite a bit. Uh, any questions on that part? Mark was gonna be here tonight. His wife is uh, sick, so he's taking care of the kids, so he said if there's any questions with the finances, um, he would already get a hold of them on that so any other discussion <laughs> we're still in the black yet for the year we are <laughs> we're going to keep it that way good. Hang on, anyway. you know it, we we took a little bit of a hit with uh you know uh, almost forty five hundred dollars in repairs on the on that one rig um, you know that took a chunk out of us but we're still doing okay for the year yeah you just informed me tonight too. We need to get uh, new tires on one of our ambulances, and I told them to go ahead and get them. So I mean, they gotta have them. So yep. just be seen on, on the, when the building comes up. Is there any other discussion? <coughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, riding on the rims is rough, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, yeah they, they wore out faster than they should. You know, and it, it's on our new rig that we we got, which is two years old and. Um, we're just shy of 30,000 miles and we should be getting more miles out of them than that. So but it is what it is that they need to get fixed and yeah. we'll go with a little better tire next time around than yeah. they came with. So. Uh, police department, uh, we want to report and radio in Krypton. Captain okay. Kirk. Okay, so you have uh, Joanne's synopsis for the month. And then the radio encryption. Do you guys understand that? What that is? No. No. Okay. Guess I keep them. Okay. So this is a radio system over here, and this is a radio system over here. Okay. And what the encryption does, it allows these keys to be the same so they can hear and talk to each other. So without the encryption, he could be talking all he wants, and I don't hear him, okay? And what's happening is, is we knew this was coming, uh, and I believe I explained that to Lori way back in the day when we switched these radios over, that that was coming, it wasn't so much as a popular or a, a, a demand in Calumet County, as it is Brown County, um, Green Bay, some of them other ones, when they went to the, the 800 service or 700 service, they, they went to encryption. Mm -hmm. So that, that locks the public out. So you can't. I see. It, it's just the way it is. So now Manitowoc has dropped a gateway, which was uh, on VHF, and anybody in the whole world can hear it and we can talk to each other and I go buy a radio and put the frequency in and so on and so forth. 
Well, now that's gone. So in order for us to talk to them, we have to put that encryption side on. But we, we can talk to them if they do certain things on their console at this point. So if we have to, we have to change a channel, go to an 800 channel, which is their frequency, and then we have to say that an example would be Brilliant 737 Manitowoc County on clear. And what that tells their dispatch is they now have to hit a button, turn the encryption off, so we can talk to them on their own frequency. So, so the multiple steps in an emergency situation is not a good thing. So we just have to be able to switch channels and we can talk to them. Along with that, the talk is Calumet County is going to go to some form of encryption as well. So now it's a multi-key encryption, which is separate from encryption. So, so you, you, you buy one part, and it's a firmware or software upgrade, so you buy one part, and you can only do one encryption. So now you've got to buy the second part, so you can have multiple encryptions to talk to a whole bunch of people. Does that all make sense to you? Mm -hmm. it, it, it's the way the, the world. The changes everything. Are we better off waiting to see what they're really all doing and then going? No, because we have the radios and they're capable of it. We just have to do the flash in order to do it. it it's cheaper now to do AES or, or key encryption now and then add the multi-key right now because then all you gotta do is just put the okay. information in to do that. And it's highly proprietary. Brown County's got their own, Manitowoc's got their own, and you just can't kick those keys. You know, a little thumb drive, and, and it's extremely complex for us guys that don't know what's going on. So that that's where that's at, and, and when we bought the radios, and I, I told the council at that time, Yes, we may not be doing that at this point in time, but in the future, it's coming. And, and so we're ahead of the game because there's others out in this county that are wondering where that money's coming from because they were not prepared for it. And Manitowoc just, okay, we're done. So that's what happens in this day and age. So what kind of cost are we talking to do this? $12,000 to flash them. Yeah. And that's both encryptions? That the, is true. The single and then the multi? That is true. I, tr I tried my best, but Motorola controls it. <laughs> you know, it's like that. They have control. There is um, just about 12000 in our um, emergency government What that was set aside for radios. Okay. Now we talked about it before. Yeah. And just so you, all of you understand, you need to keep putting money in that a little right. bit because as things go, yeah, you don't maybe not necessarily have to buy another radio, but you gotta pay for the flashing to make it work. And and they they, they have you over a barrel. So I would continue to keep putting a little bit of money in there as we go. Yeah, the county, the last county meeting I had, uh, uh, what's Captain? Captain over there in the county, which is the, the chief deputy. Yeah, chief deputy. Both. Yeah, and he was mentioned about that. So they, they're going to dig up a lot of money. And we're just our people already had the foresight to get the money already. So we're okay. Um, one more thing, I, I talked to the captain about. Um, um, I, I I attended the funeral of Clark Curtis of the Essential Technology Saturday. And I talked to Lou and, and Todd, and um, they got maybe some financial problems. They, they will not be in Berlin. They're going to be leaving. Um, That's too bad. I guess she's going to, they're going to go to Reedsville. That's where he lives, and she's going to go with him. And he's going to take some of the business with him. But some of my concerns was uh, me, a lot of us have these cell phones here. And I talked to the captain about it. And um, we're going to have to look into it with what our contract says and where it's going or where we have cellcom around here or what we're going to do now. 
I think the nearest would probably be just out of Darboy. I don't know where. It yeah, is. on KK. But should it matter that they're no. moving? No. no. You can't. There's just somebody's so going to assume it. Yeah. Assume it. yeah. Um, it's, we're losing that convenience. I mean, right. it was nice to just to run down there if you had an issue. Now we'll have to just, like you would your home phone, go wherever you go, you know. Well, so. you, either then we have to look at something or, or maybe the captain, I mean, he, he knows how this all this stuff works and maybe he can find a close up closer by for all of us all get on the same system well we just signed a two-year contract in april <laughs> yeah well i mean so, that's fine and yeah, like so i said i didn't know how this all <coughs> works because she i did i didn't ask her to do anything about what's going yeah. on but they're kind of the know but go ahead if 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 there is a need which now there's a need so you don't know what's going to come in, especially with some of the changes that may be coming in the future, as far as the city as a whole goes. So I'm not sure you talk to um, Mr. Curtis. I don't know what he's going to do over there. It's just computer or is he doing, is he letting the sell contract go and they're not doing any of it? I mean, that's some of the research we have to find because it, it was he's still going to be in it. Yeah. Well, then that's good for us because then he's only in Reedsville. Right. Yeah. Well, but either way we look at it, no matter who your carrier is, either you're going to Chilton, uh, Darboy, or Appleton, or Green Bay. Well, that's not really that some, no. some of the comments that he made, I, him and I sat down and discussed, every one of these phones that, and, which we all didn't know, they don't order 10 phones and he sets them on the wall. He ordered 10 phones, he got to pay over six to $700 each phone out of his pocket, and he, he's got to buy these phones, mm -hmm. and he said, they just can't afford it, and that's why Clark was out there. That's why he, you know, he, he was doing the other business. That was their money in the back to, to survive. And then he said there was days in in for essential technologies they wouldn't have nobody walking the door for two or three days. You know how you make a living on that. You know, so we have to understand that. So this is I just brought up, and I talked to the captain about it, and and let get his feelings on because he monkeys with the radios and stuff. So all the city phones are self-cop? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Then that's what was my concern. Yeah. So we have to look at it later. Kurt can come up with something or investigate it if you if you would like, if you can, because you're all you maybe you can take a ride down there tomorrow and talk to him and you understand the verbiage more than I do. So that's where we are with that. Your own time. <laughs> Is there any other questions of the captain? Thank you, Captain. Yeah. Um, Fire Department Chief Yonke? Yes. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to elaborate a little bit on what Kirk said about the um, radio ordeal. Um, I sat on a committee about seven years ago yeah. for Foxcom, and this is no shock. The, the nice part about here in Brilliant and what we did is when we had the regional grant and same thing with PD, we got the radios to upgrade, but we don't have that big cost. A lot of fire departments did not go that route. They went bottom end, and now up and coming in 17, 18, they're screwed by, by all means. But also, our county decided that we were going to stay VHF. Every single one of, our, one of the counties around us, we deal with Brown, Manitowoc, and Outagamie County. <coughs> Every single one of them went to 800 systems. So, Calma County, and I, I understand what Kirk is saying, Calma County is on an island. When we go to a fire call, fire call in Brown County, which we do quite a bit on, on the Mavis, we can't talk to nobody ever. So Calma County up and coming, don't let it be a shocker to you, but Calma County has to do something. They put in an iPhone system up there that was supposed to cover the entire county. I told them when they did this, because they put in one tower, it wasn't gonna work. <coughs> they told me I was wrong. Six months later, we got a tower that we can't use. Or a system that we can't use. Would you explain it in the IFRM? IFRM is so when you have outside agencies that are coming in, they go on to it's called an IFRM channel. There's one or two channels of it. They come in and they go on that channel. They can talk to our dispatch and also talk to the hosting department at the same time. So we all have the color channels. When you're on a fire scene and we got multiple color channels, everybody can talk to everybody except in Brown County because they run with tactical channels. So the state really should mandate something on that, but they don't, so it is what it is. 
but you, there's going to be a huge cost coming up in, two, I believe it's 2018 when that all changes again. It's already in the budget for Calumet County. Do we pass Millions? That huh? That's millions. Three. That's I think. it? Three something million. Okay. I don't know what all entails. I just caught part of it when he was talking. Okay. It's over three. A lot you of all paid for that, by the way. <laughs> so anyways, I just wanted to elaborate a little bit on that, yeah. on the radio end of it. Yeah. Um, you have my report. Uh, we have 53 calls for the year, training. We just handed out uh, December's meeting, our SOGs. Kelly, our secretary, city secretary, helped me with that. Fabulous, fabulous job. Very professional done. Um, we put that out there. Um, I also, uh, also sent you the... Um, Apparatus replacement costs, up, uh, everything is up to date on, on that. Um, at that point, um, we did lose um, one volunteer. Um, she decided to move on. She's going back to school. Give her a lot of credit. Um, one of those deals that you know she she had no regrets. So, but she doesn't have the time anymore to put in. So. You understand that and then last but not least um, I'm gonna thank everybody here for putting up with me I mean I have in all honesty I have absolutely no regrets of anything I did or that have done um, I believe very strongly in everything I did um, am I gonna miss it I'm not sure on that yet to be honest with you I'm hoping that we don't have any calls now until after I retire because it's too damn cold out there <laughs> Yourself. Well, we knew that was coming anyway, so. <laughs> so you have any questions for me? I got I got one. A couple of months ago we talked about or it's been longer a couple of months for sure. When we talked about the um, heavy rescue and engines and, and ladders and all the stuff. And did did you say uh, something <laughs> to the fact is that there's more than peers out there that makes trucks or different things that correct. You, you you did say that. I did say that. So when we start bidding on these these items that you have listed here, so that's what you the, the next committee will look at all diff different people, not only in the valley or what's. Yeah, I mean you're open to do whatever you want to do. I mean the bottom line is this: if, if you're if you're looking at apples and apples, and you're being an example, Rizzo bought a truck over there, it wasn't a Pierce. I'm not going to use the name of whoever they got. They bought a truck over there. The, the same truck that was um, offered to only one other um, manufacturer went in there. Rizzo saved $40,000. <coughs> That's all I really need to say. Yeah. Huh? You know, we, we looked at, we, looked, we brought in uh, the committee for the tender. We yeah. brought in the tender committee. We actually had, I believe it was five or six, five or six, five, five manufacturers that put in there. And we went through it with a fine tooth comb, the committee did, and ended up, uh, it ended up coming down to dollars and cents by eliminating manufacturers. We actually had it down to three manufacturers. And the one that we picked, they were the one that matched everything exactly what we requested because we made up our own specs. We didn't use somebody else's spec. We used our own specs. And from we saved from the highest one to the lowest one, which was not even in the ballpark, but the highest one was $50,000 higher than what we made in that truck. So, it goes back to two, Gary. And I, I believe I mentioned this about six months ago. I highly, highly recommend that if we could put one person on the council with each organization to know how things operate. Not saying every committee, I'm saying uh, for each organization. And that way, that takes a, the doubt away from, am I really telling you what, am I telling you what you want to hear or am I telling you what <coughs> I want? And I, I'm a firm believer in that. You don't have to know what the fire service does. <laughs> You know what they spend the money on. Well, as, as we along, you know, uh, when, when uh, 
Joey becomes chief in the next couple of weeks. Uh, him and Eric can sit down if they want. They want a council member here. They, just, they gotta come and ask us if they want a council member on for certain things or for just for, you know, for looking at the trucks. Uh, maybe one of our council members would come there. You know, it's not that you're there every day or, you know, every no. couple months you guys no. meet and you could talk about, sure, I, I think that'd be all right. I, could agree to that a couple hours here a couple hours there if that's with their wishes over there <coughs> you know, everything that I've ever presented to you guys and the people that were at the party I, every single thing that I've ever done on this department always went through my district chief every single thing it wasn't something that Rich Jackie just brought up and decided this is what we're going I made sure that I wasn't the, the lone survivor <coughs> Because I may not have been around. Somebody else needs to take over if I'm not there. So good. Any other questions? Well, Chief, we, we, we thank you for your 30 some years of service to the city of Brilliant and um, I'd like to give you a hand. <laughs> thank you very much. I know you had a lot of different cold nights and hot days. Remember one time you I think you were telling me when you lived by me, what that was the chickens out there you were out there watering? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Humpy dumpy. Humpy dumpy you guys wrote that good. I remember you telling me about, first, I thought you were nuts. You know? <laughs> <laughs> the, we're watering chicken. What? Chickens don't like water. <laughs> oh, they cool. when there's a fire. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. You guys in the back got any comments? I didn't think so. I didn't go one last shot. City buildings and grounds, as you notice, we had snow. The guys were out there plowing. Um, they 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 came out Sunday for a while, and then they went back home because snow. And they came out early this morning. Like I said, they did the best what they have and with the equipment they have. So we didn't hear no complaints, did we, Joy? Just nothing. Laura, you hear the place? I wasn't in the office today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm in voicemail tomorrow. Yeah, no, and I checked. I stopped at, I stopped at my office. There was no. So, other than that, we're still moving along. Uh, finance and purchasing review of a vouchers general fund of $15,204.17. I'll make a motion to pay a general fund of $15,204.17. Okay. Motion made by Wally, second by Mel to approve the fund of fifteen thousand two hundred four seventeen. Is there any question or discussion on the general fund? Hearing none, all in favor of that motion say aye. Aye. Opposed, motion carried. Under reserves of thirty-four thousand three hundred eighty-eight dollars and eighty-six cents. So moved to approve the reserves for thirty-four thousand three hundred eighty-eight dollars and eighty-six cents. Second. Motion being been held, second by Wally to approve the reserves of $34,388.86. Any questions or correction of the reserves? Hearing, hearing none, all in favor of that motion say aye. Aye. Opposed, motion carried. Contingency, $0. TIF, $0. Um, the police department review of license applications of the new and renewal. I guess we don't have to repeat those anymore. So we just need a motion to accept as a group. Also moved to approve the operator's license, the new annual renewal. Second. Motion made by Mel, second by Betty, to approve the operator's license, new and, and renewal. Is there any questions of these? Hearing none, all in favor of that motion say aye. 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 Opposed, motion carried. A review of <coughs> payroll um, for December 9, 2016, in the amount of $57,006.27. Motion made by Kerry, second. second by Mel, to approve the uh, December 9, 2016, of uh, $57,006.27. Any other question or correction? Hearing none, all in favor, demo say aye. Aye. So is most Kerry. Uh, under personnel, at this time, folks, we've got to go into closed session to so make a motion to go plus <laughs> closed session. I'll move to a closed session for. Uh, <laughs> I'll say.
a motion made by Mel, seconded by Kerry, to go to full session for BSS 19.8513. <laughs> it's uh, 6 45. We call this meeting to order. We have the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call. Mayor Dieter? Here. Bob Ford? Mel Ediger? Here. Crystal Cooley? Betty Neese? Here. Vicki Schaffer? Here. Wally Snobbin? Here. Carrie Wenzel? Here. We're in session. Approval of the agenda. Council move to approve that second. Second. Motion made by Mel, second by Kerry, to approve approve the agenda as printed, circulated. Any questions or correction? Hearing none, all in favor, that will say aye. Aye. Opposed, motion carry. Uh, approval of the minutes of November 8, 2016, regular C city council meeting, and November 29, 2000, 29, 2000 special city council meeting. I'll make a motion to uh, approve both uh, minutes. Second. Motion made by Wally, second by Mel, to approve the minutes of November 28th and November 29th. Is there any questions or corrections? Hearing none, all in favor that motion say aye. Aye. Opposed, motion carried. Uh, citizen input, Sarah, you got anything? Yeah, I just Speak. wanted to tell you what's going on. <laughs> We're right ahead. Um, if you drove by the uh, window, you can now see some of the features for the splash pad. Um, they're telling me that it should be up and running by the end of the week and then they'll be gone um, which is nice for them because this is one of the colder weeks so they're excited to be inside and then they told me that um, Wayne Primino is going to come on Monday to prime and paint everything and then Lexi should be home by Wednesday I'm not sure if she's starting before or after Christmas but then she'll start with the mural wall and the bubbles are being made at Coventry Glass right now um, so there, we're working on a possible tourism committee logo because we never really came up with anything. Um, so we're talking about doing that because that's really a key factor now and everything in, in brilliant um, for tourism. And then the curtain came today, so hopefully Russ Callaway can install that. So there was a question of whether the pool could be open, when the splash pad type thing. So the Optimist Club went ahead and purchased, a, it's a mesh curtain with a two foot solid bottom. So you still should be able to see through it and then uh, I'm sure Anne will update you on some of the things she's getting to make sure that kids uh, do not go in the pool and that they are safe. Um, and then the benches are ordered, that started today. There's gonna be four six foot benches along the wall. Um, uh, Wayne's going to seal everything. <coughs> we're hoping it's done by mid-January, uh, but we're not actually planning and it'll be open if it's working and it's all sealed, but we're actually planning a community party at the first weekend in February, the Saturday before the Brat Fry. So it would be community day that Saturday and Brat Fry on Sunday. So that's what's kind of going on. We're hoping to have like a party for all the donors, you know, some obscure night that doesn't conflict with anything, but um, that's what we're hoping is that we'll be up and running by mid-January. But Lexi's home until the 20th of February because her internship doesn't start till then, so we got a few extra weeks because she's going to a veterinary farm somewhere. So, yeah. Thank you. That's it. Thank you. Okay. Uh, item number six, cassette, cassette agenda. Um, items A, B, C, D, and one and two. Also move to approve cassette agenda items A, B, C, D, one and two. Second. A motion made by by Mel, second by Kerry, to approve uh, from the cassette agenda A, B, C, D, one and two. Is there any questions or discussion on these? 
Hearing none, we have a full vote of the council. Now? Yes. Betty? Yes. Vicki? Yes. Wally? Yes. Carrie? Yes. That motion is carried. Um, yeah. The next one, uh, department, uh, let's skip the chief or captain. Park Recreation, hi Ann. Hello. How are you? Oh, okay, the last two weeks have been busy. Um, last week, Wednesday, we had a water main break out in front. Um, it, so that is taken care of now, we hope. Um, so we had to close the pool for a while. Um, today, when we came in, we had a flow bell meter that was broken. So the pools, we had to turn off the pump because it wasn't pumping water, and we would burn that out. So by doing that, then the pool drained down about five inches. So when we went back to refill the pool, we lost water pressure today. So there was no showers, no toilets, no sinks, nothing. Um, but when we stopped filling the pool back up, then everything came back on. And we weren't sure if it has to do with the water main break, so I called Pete from MCO. They were gonna come over to double check to make sure that everything was wide open. Um, with the water main break, what it was, there was a three inch going to a two inch at the meter. Okay, and then from the meter, it was three inches going back into the building. So when they had to sleeve it, everything is a two inch from the main to the meter. And then once it's at the meter again, it's still two inches like it was before. And then going into the building, it's a three inch again. So it's just the first part from the main to the meter that they switched to a two inch. And we're not sure if that had something to do with the pressure either. So they are looking at all that. And the parts for the um, pool will be a couple days and it's coming out of California. And I said, no, overnight it. <laughs> so, so, and the temperature dropped because of the pool not being up and running. So yeah, so hopefully we'll get that fixed. Is it closed? Well, we're not sure tomorrow yet. We have to wait and see. We had swim team in there. It was 80 degrees, but swim team loves it at that cold. You know, kids love to swim because they keep moving. But for older people and like arthritis, it's not good. So we'll let you, we'll know when we open tomorrow at seven. Okay. So yeah, I'm hoping it's not. <laughs> Is there any other dis discussion? And then like Sarah said with the um, splash pad, we did order a camera system so we can put a camera in there. And um, right now I have an ad for splash pad attendance for once we open, just be knowing it's gonna be busier, so. Yeah, to help for the safety, so. Okay, thank you, Ann. Oh, I forgot one thing, I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> um, Barb Alloy, which is um, Dan's sister, he, she is going to be teaching dance starting uh, in January for us. She'll be coming from Green Bay, so. Good. Just wanted to announce that, so we have a new program. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, library, hi, Chris. Hi. Well, just just to point out that a friend's silent auction is still going on all week, so if you haven't gotten over and bid on the baskets, you always save 20 some cool baskets. So I'm waiting for your bids. <laughs> Any other questions? Or comments? Thank you, Chris. Uh, community development, uh, Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. Hi. Um, just to let you know, we're trying to get a meeting scheduled for a public-private partnership on the Hub. Um, we thought we had it scheduled for the 20th, but sent a doodle back out. I did not send it to anyone on the council, but if you're interested, I'll get that out to you. Um, if you want to be part of that discussion, I did send it to the mayor and to Lori, but um, if you're interested at all in being part of that discussion, uh, let me know. I'll send you the doodle. And you can give us your time available so we can get that set up. And then the second week of January, um, we'll be taking the Economic Development Partnership and whoever will be taking a walk through, a tour through the Brilliant Ironworks. So if anyone's interested in that, um, let me know and I'll get you the information. So that was just given some dates today. So okay. yeah, we'll do it in January. Okay. Any more, Cheryl? No. Any other questions of Cheryl? Thank you. Uh, go back to about Captain Kirk. Do you have any more comments on the police department? <laughs> no, other than the stuff that was in your packets, Joanne's report. Okay. Um, obviously, you guys are aware that we're working on some issues right now. Any other questions of the captain? Thank you. Uh, fire department. Uh, Captain Joy? I have nothing at this time other than what Rich presented earlier. Is there any other questions of 
Joy launched on a hot seat, burn them a little bit. Just remember that for the first six months, you have to bring in treats and beverages for every meeting. <laughs> first, we got attendance to, is hey, required. I was going to say, Carrie, first we've got to get in here. I said it is attendance is required. I did say that. Put that in there at the end. Uh, committee reports on planning commission. We didn't have anything on planning at this time. In fact, we didn't even have a meeting last month. No, that, we didn't. That's December. how dead it is. So we got to perk that up. Park and recreation on here, uh, Vicki. Everything I just said. Nothing. Busy. Okay. Library board, Betty. Nothing. We didn't have a meeting. We meet next week. Next week. Next week they meet. Utility Commission, Wally? Meeting. Meets Thanks, Monday. Monday. How are we going to make any money here if we have no meetings? <laughs> uh, readings, Mel, you must have something, huh? We have a meeting, meeting Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> well, save it up for next month, I guess. Yeah, we're early because of wow. Christmas. Mm -hmm. we're, we're moving right along here, yeah. huh? Well, let's go to the next one. We know we're going to get action on this one. Uh, 2070 appointment agreement for the building inspector. Oh, I'm going to read that all again. Um, no, just I that. think a motion to approve Ex the amended agreement. Okay. I second that. Motion be by Carrie, second by Vicki to approve the amended uh, agreement for the 2017 building inspector. Is there any other question or discussion on this? Hearing none, we have a poll vote of the council. Yes. Vicki? Yes. Molly? Yes. Carrie? Yes. That motion is carried. Uh, cemetery Commission report, Carrie, anything? Um, we do not, we do not have a meeting. I have one question. One more. Pardon me? One question. Yeah. I would, I would like to see them go back and really study what they're doing with that road. Because, you know, Sarah made a comment that the meeting that one day had an opportunity with that, um, because, and I know I heard a couple people comment that what they're planning on doing is not the answer for it, that they should revisit that and look at something different. Okay. So you'll take that back to the committee? Sure. Thank you. Uh, tourism committee? We don't need Carrie? until January. <laughs> we could have a teleconference call in this meeting. Yeah, I know it's going to be a uh, Any old business? Any new business? Resolution 2017 wage and benefits? We've got to adopt these? Yes, yeah, it's just you've already approved everything. Yep. This just sets them in. I will move to approve the 2017 wages and benefits. I'll second that. Motion made by Mel, second by Wally to uh, approve the um, the 2017 wages and benefits. Is there any other question or discussion? I just have one thing. When do we set goals? Everybody set goals for the departments. Um, what I'm going to be doing this next year is meeting with each department um, at the beginning of the year, each department head, and ask them to set some goals review them mid-year and then at the towards the end of the year again review them to see how they're meeting their goals and remember I talked to you about that the last council meeting I think when we set the director's wage scale and introduced that wage scale then yep. so. I would just like to suggest that we look at some lean initiatives in each of the departments mm -hmm. because Budgets are getting tighter and tighter. Yep. And we need to get more efficient. Yep. And everybody should have at least a goal to take a look at a certain item and see how we can save money. Because sure. we're going to be needing it. Yeah. Yes, we are. So. Um, Joy and I even talked about after that last uh, meeting we had here to talk about uh, with, with Bob Andres and those business owners. Um, Joy and I got back to the office and do you mind if I say this? You go right ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she suggested as um, that what thing we might be lacking on is looking for more grants out there. 
you know, even if they are just small local grants, like the police department right now has, you know, they, they get something they need, they go out and they talk, they're not really grants, they're more, well, you call them grants, donations, however you look at it, but as you have a small project, you might be able to just ask locally, you know, Sarah's fantastic at fundraising, <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, look at those opportunities more, at least say, okay, I'm gonna try for this grant this year, if you don't get it, you don't get it, but at least you try, you know. Maybe that would be each department has a goal yeah. to at least try for one grant or two grants a year. Just try, try to apply and see what happens. I want, I think that's a great idea Joy had because it's, you know, things that you don't really think of and you don't know they're they're they may not you may not know that they're out there unless you look and ask. Well, I suggested a two two a year. Yeah, each department should at least apply for two. For two a year. Get it. You don't, you don't get, get it, it, you don't get it, but at least you're great. At least there's an effort. Great. So are you telling Sorry. us <laughs> are you telling us that Joy is going to be a leader of this group? Joy is taking minutes right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think I heard Joy say that she was gonna help us write them. There you that go. Is not I heard you say that you did I, will, I have this recorded and I'll yeah. put it back. <laughs> <laughs> has I just any more been said about uh, the dollar store? I have an idea. Okay, we'll bring it to that meeting whenever we have that meeting. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's that. kind of, that's not about what we're on no. topic on the agenda right now, so. Okay. Oh, there is a, a typo that Kirk pointed out to me. He's no longer <laughs> lieutenant, he's captain. Where was the second? Local 662, not local Oh, yes, and the union is, is Teamster six. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll make those corrections on the one. Yeah. <laughs> Is there any other new business? You got a call vote. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. But I, I, got, I got sidetracked. If you're, I thought Joy was going to do something great here tonight. Um, <laughs> any other discussion? All in favor of them? No, oh, no, we no, got no, a whole no, vote to go. <laughs> Now? Yes. Betty? Yes. Vicki? Yes. Wally? Yes. Carrie? Yes. That motion is carried. Uh, communication by the city administrator. And my package, in uh, your package you have my department head report. Um, sure all of you have received your tax bill. Not, I got it on Saturday. Um, so they're, they're out and I believe our office is starting to collect already today. Um, nomination papers, um, if you're running for re-election or if you know somebody that's running, wanting to run for all the person at large, they are, right now is the time, um, come and see Joy, she has paperwork ready for you. Um, some information that I, I attended a couple of uh, meetings that I thought were some interesting information that I provided for you in your packet and then I emailed you one to take a, especially that one um, that I attended last Monday that's the state of Wisconsin's economy session was in some interesting uh, statistics um, as where we are right now, where we were 15, 20 years ago. Um, so take a look at that information. Uh, the mayor and I are going to be attending one this Thursday at noon at Fox Valley Technical College again. Um, and I think that's all I have right now other than to say thank you, like Bridge did earlier, for this last year our last council meeting of the year so I want to thank everyone. Merry Christmas. Any other question of the city administrator? Uh, under my report the only thing I have so far from the city is the mayor are the um, reports of um, Governor Walker um, has directed his people to look at ways we um, got lip to He's on the uh, DOT to try to get money to us without raising taxes and some other things that they are trying to do. Um, I personally don't think it's going to work. I think uh, we as a small community, and I know nobody don't want to go to hear this again, but I'll say it again. We may have to enact a wheel tax. So it'll be five bucks a wheel, 10 to uh, 20 bucks a vehicle here, for here in town. Um, is that bad? No, I don't think it's bad because we got renters who come in the community, which is good, we need that. But still and all, they should contrib contribute to using our roads here in, the, in our community. 
So uh, I, I know we invite people here to do business in our community, but times have changed. You know, we got to find out where we can get the money. And uh, on that, I, I discouraged the on the county level from doing this because they were talking about that. And um, Lori and I went to a round robin and um, down, in, down in Chilton here a couple weeks ago. And I personally don't think that the county should do it because we are already being taxed already, you know, by them, you know. So that should be just up to the communities to do that, you know, because they're going to have to break it down too far. So, you know, that, that's where we are on that. So, and like Gloria and I said, we, we've, been, we've been doing a lot of uh, small meetings at Fox Valley Tech and Stevens Point, which Lori's been having more time to get out now, and that's what uh, the city administrator should be doing. And also, you know, the mayor, the, we have to go out to get all these, come back with uh, different things that are going on and different ideas. Uh, there are meetings out there that we're missing that could benefit our community, and we need to be more active, including the city council. The city council, we, you get paid per, per mile and dim, and, and we pay for if you are, if you're working, um, you know, even staff, you know, uh, and, and Joey and, and Eric and all you guys. If you go to get some information, bring back to our community where we can use it, like you know, Joey said, for, um, you know, for grants and that. Sometimes we don't know what's going on here, like the last couple of meetings, Cheryl and I <coughs> and Lori went up to Stevens Point and all these things for, you know, Broadfield 101. And uh, these are things that we need to come back and tell you guys about it and then see where we can go from there. So that's just some of the things that are going on. So it, it, it's a constant thing now that, that everybody, every uh, town chairman, mayors, everybody's doing, they're going to these seminars Sometimes you go in there and, and they're boring, but that's a chance you take. Sometimes the seminars are free. Sometimes you pay, I think the one we're paying tomorrow is- It's just free. Free? Mm -hmm. So free, it's for us, you know? <laughs> so, oh, we free gotta, we gotta pay for We lunch. gotta pay for lunch, yeah. For lunch. Chicken <laughs> salad, I suppose. Yeah. Just, just a question on the wheel tax. Is anybody else around here consider doing that? Mayor, Mayor Hannah, Mayor Hannah's done it already. They, they collected 1.04 million dollars already. Sheboygan has been doing it for 20 years. Uh, Kakana, Kakana, right? No, you were not making it. That's right. Kakana has started it, and they're very impressed on it because everybody's paying a little bit for each street. Uh, Mayor Hannah told us that each street they used to have, they used everybody lived on one block. There'd be 25 homes there. Them 25 homes would pay for that street. It's your street. You're responsible for that street infrastructure. And that's how they check. Now they said to go to wheel tax. Now all the renters and everybody gets put a, you know, a couple bucks in, you know, in the pot. It does not go over the vehicle over um, 8,000 pounds. I think it's 3,000 or 8,000 pounds. But it's not for bikes or a mobile, just, just for a car or truck. That's it, right. you know, vehicles. Do you have any idea for how do we find out how many vehicles there would be? I, I figured it out once and roughly what we would collect would be about 30,000 a year. But the thirty, so th yeah. You can put it in reserve, and that can grow. You know, and then you can start helping to offset some of it. Because our general fund pays for our streets. Like what he was trying to explain to you is that in in Appleton, before they had the wheel tax, they assessed those property owners on that street for everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Don't some of them have higher though? Like sixty dollars or something. Somebody told me that's yeah. it, it, yeah. yeah. it, it goes by population yeah. growth. You go you go down to the south and you got more population. You know, they got money, so why should you care how much? It's sixty bucks, yeah. Yeah. I thought somebody told me that there's a sixty. Yeah. I think and it's then, but at least that way yeah, getting, it's on the vehicle registration is how you that pay way for you're it. getting mm -hmm. a little more that it builds a little faster. Mm -hmm. And it isn't quite as noticeable. Yeah, so, but you on the flip side too, you don't want to scare them away. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. So you like want here, to move into the town of Brilliant. Yeah. And not, and be close enough, and yeah. not have to pay anything. So. Right. But I think it, it, things are going to change because we we need we need to cover our taxes here for something going on because it just I don't know how we're going to do it. Even in the round robin discussion, the people over by Stockbridge and just said there's going to be roads over there. They're going to revert back to a grader because they, they know the heavy equipment, the manure hauling. 
They're up there at 60, you know, 50 or 60,000 pounds in one of those manure trucks. You shouldn't be. Well, how do you stop them? They got to get the manure on, you know, and all the heavy equipment that the farmers are using. And they're, they're tearing up the roads, uh, but they're paying for the roads also. <coughs> you know, well, so I think these big manure semis going down gravel road in the spring. Yep, it's going to take long. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And as you know, the agriculture is getting bigger and bigger, and more farmers are putting on, you know, and you know, and just not blowing what's that? Not blowing no, up wool farms, the oil TV, they're putting on another 750 cattle so that's going to be over 1400 there shadow dairy's going to add another thousand on so then we got goat farms over in stockbridge it's going to add 15,000 goats are going over stockbridge really? 15,000 high market for cheese from a goat cheese wow. in the main. remember 100 of them equals one cow 100 of them equals one cow that's right yeah so Okay, is there any other discussion? Press time, anybody got press time? Nobody? Press here. Make a motion to adjourn. I move to adjourn. Second. Motion made by Betty, second by Mel, or the other way around to adjourn. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed, motion carried. Thanks everybody for coming. Here,